Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Sohini from South Bay, California and I welcome you today. So today we will be reviewing four very practical methods that will ensure that you will have success in your AI job search, specifically towards those first phone screens or the first screening calls in order for you to connect with the uh, uh, you know, hiring manager or with the recruiter in order to set you apart from your competition and answer the very important questions question why you why you are the best candidate for this job at hand if this is of interest to you please like and subscribe to this channel additional teasers for the week to come as you may know we are currently doing a 10 week program called build your own research internship in AI and this is week six however I am planning a live YouTube meetup and that will be in the end of July that is towards the very end of this build your own research internship if this would be of interest to you to join and you can ask questions about your profile or about your search or this could be more about tips and, and, and trade secrets uh, in order to understand how an industrial hiring process happens and I'm more than happy to answer as many of your questions as possible. So if you would be interested in joining that live session, please do leave me a comment below with what would be the topics that would be of interest to you for us to discuss and I will keep you posted as the weeks to come as I discuss the, the topic for that particular live session. So see you there. To set the stage for the four steps towards a successful AI job search, I wanted to describe the words that I use a lot, which is digital portfolio. What does that really mean? And although I'm putting a disclaimer here, I have no affiliations to any of the companies or products that I'm discussing, a digital portfolio typically means three things your resume, your LinkedIn profile, and any way that you can show or demonstrate your working hands-on coding experiences. Typically, it is in the form of a GitHub repo, or they could also be uh, your, your projects that are stored at your website, but a very good typical example is your GitHub. So those are the three things that make your digital portfolio. Okay, so the four steps that I mentioned that is going to help you set aside your uh, profile from your competition and gives you the advantage in this competitive market is applicable not just to graduating engineers who are still in university, but it is also applicable to uh, engineers who are already in the field, but they're looking for a job change, but having a hard time because of this extreme competition in this COVID-19 pandemic job search sort of a situation. So let's get straight to them. Step number one, get professional help on your resume, which means make sure that it is proofread by, let's say, a resume writer or go to a recruiting agency for, for tips, uh, for, for help, or seek out career services in your university so that they can help you enhance the way you've written your uh, resume. Right now, the competition is fierce in the industry. There is a lot of uh, saturation and a lot of people may be looking for the same sort of jobs. And in order to ensure that the right skill sets or the right facets are highlighted, you need professional help. So step number two, it is sort of a trade secret in the industry. And well, when you think about it, it, it makes sense. But right now, internal job referrals are really significant and important. So rather than going to the website of the company and applying it right there, it might be more beneficial or you might even hear back for that first screening phone round if you get an internal referral or if you get an internal employee to refer you. So referrals are the top ways to ensure you get your phone calls for the job search in this market. Tip number three, and one of the most important ones is now more than ever, you need to be able to demonstrate your capability to code and to bring the, the real life demonstration of what you can do at you know production level, uh, you know, before you've even had the chance to have an on-site interview. In order for you to do that, you have to ensure you have worked on real life examples, not just those technical uh, textbook examples that have been given in your you know core syllabus or if you if you've taken a you know a micro program and there was some textbook example to uh, you know to demonstrate a certain aspect of it 
you have to give or you have to take the time in order to build your own GitHub repo or in order to show or demonstrate your coding experiences on a real life sample. And there is another important aspect of doing something like this. While you work on your own research project or, or, or example, you are actually getting a lot more real life experience. So you might be able to understand and appreciate some of the key features that you had otherwise learned in the in a textbook and never really experienced it. But now when you actually get hands on experience working on a real life problem, you will be able to talk about it in your phone screen, which will definitely catch the eye and the attention of your hiring manager or the recruiter. And it will definitely set you apart from your competition. The fourth and the most important aspect of an AI job search is understanding the requirements. Most of the time we go to the job posting, uh, you know, website or to the to the link and we look at the requirements and we say, yeah, of course, I think I should be a good fit and we apply anyways. And then, well, no calls. And in, in this case, you need to understand that there are two aspects of that job link or that job posting that you need to understand. First, there are requirements that they expect the candidates to come with. So that is, you know, it's, it's most of the time it's publications or most of the time it's years of experience or it could even be your degree. And those are super important uh, for you to even apply. That is, if you don't have those those degrees, then there's a very big chance you're not going to get the phone call. And the second thing is the requirement for the job, for you to do the job well. And those will be the skill sets that you can actually talk about in your phone screen. Uh, in order to uh, you know attract the employer towards you and also to to answer the question why you are the best hire or the best candidate for this tentative job so what I will be doing today I will be showing four examples for a machine learning engineer posting I will be going through them and I will be showing you how to read the the job posting and understand how these requirements are different So what I've done here is I've just uh, typed in machine learning engineer in my LinkedIn. Of course, LinkedIn knows my relative location. So that's why it's, it's finding, uh, you know, jobs in, in my relative location. Of course, you should do a very uh, in-depth uh, assessment of what preferred geographical locations you have and then look into the rows. Uh, so what I will be showing you is how to read uh, these job requirements and automatically understand how you should then try to connect with the companies in your first, in your first, you know, phone screen and how you should go about answering why they should pick you why you are the ideal candidate for this particular role okay so let's get right to it first thing you should do about any company the, the first thing always the rule of thumb is you need to do some background research into what the company is so everybody should be on the same page uh, if it's a startup it's a mid-sized company if it's a you know large-scale corporation you need to know what they do so this is how you need to read it. Let's go into the requirements or the background requirement, what you need to come into the company with. Here, the, the first thing they say is degree in computer engineering, computer science, electrical engineering, robotics, or related fields. So you need to understand is how you read these uh, requirements is they are you know reducing in importance as you go from top to bottom. Of course, you don't need to be, uh, you know, each and every one of them don't need to be satisfied equally. But again, the importance is top to bottom. Then they are looking at C++. So of course, if the second point is C++, that means that that's a very significant, important aspect for this particular job. So uh, you, you need to be not just at a beginner's level for C, C++, you actually need to be a very strong C++ uh, you know, coder in this case. Uh, understand that they are looking at somebody who can optimize code. So if you've done a lot of end to end deployment of you know, C++ modules, then that's not enough for this particular job. Uh, you actually need to be OK, uh, you know, optimizing uh, the, the code, uh, the, the lines of code, the parameters and, and everything to make it memory efficient. So these are the key words that jump out as significantly important. Uh, then for this particular job, you need to know the system, uh, the system architecture and you, you need to do system design. And if you don't, if you're not sure what a system uh, level architecture means, then you need to Google it and, and, you know, at least look at some, some courses. There are a lot of videos in, in YouTube already about them. Make sure you understand what they mean. And again, this case is for the autonomous drive environment. So you need to be very okay, uh, you know, with, with these particular jargon. 
Communication skill, of course, is a soft skill that's, that they've required. But I, I wanted to show that they have an importance to this is the last point. Statistics, machine learning, engineering, uh, you, you need to know time series forecasting and reinforcement learning. Of course, it's good to have them all, but that's not required. But if you can hit as many of these as possible, you are, uh, you know, th that way you're a better fit. So this is the requirement that you should come with. And this is now how their uh, explanation of what the idea candidate should do so again you see C++ is extremely important C C++ uh, CUDA and OpenCL you know these are requirements so if you you can show existing uh, working uh, examples uh, you know on these platforms then you then will actually be a, a big plus for this particular job uh, original code writing is, is extremely important so that's why you need to show that you have capability of original uh, ideas and not just ideas but also implementing them so that's super important for this case and finally uh, it, this this uh, whole whole job is uh, around perception to motion planning so if you can show original examples on you know starting from from the perception that is detection of objects in and, and then getting into the motion uh, planning then such an example would be ideal when you tried to uh, talk to the you know hiring manager on, on the first uh, job interview call in order to show why you are the best candidate for this role. Now let's look at another job requirement. This is by Waymo um, and again it's in Mountain View US. So uh, let's go again in the same order that we saw. So the requirements that you come in and that is the, is the second uh, paragraph that you have. So again here their most key importance they are putting onto the degree that is it's, it should be a PhD in computer science or relative quants field or you can come in with a BSMS with at least five years of relevant experience. Um, the second important that they put here is you need to show that you're able to take an idea from conception to experiment productionization so it's not just uh, good enough to just have a you know concept idea but then you need to show that you've done enough uh, a b testing or if you've collected enough data and actually showed that the idea works in the field uh, again you need to have a strong machine learning uh, understanding and you need to again go through you know launch iterations um, here they say that the most important aspect is c plus 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 or Python. Uh, so, you, you know, both are equally important. And again, some experience with distributed computing is, is deemed very relevant in this particular job. The, now, this job rec is a little different from the previous one because it's they did also give you preferred. So this is a requirement. This is something that you should have. And then these are some some nice to haves. So if you are in, in some way not able to hit a few bullet points in, in, the, in the required, you should be able to then, uh, you know, fill them up with the preferred ones. So in this case, the preferred ones would be you have working experience with deep learning, computer vision, robotics, and SLAM, that is simultaneous localization and mapping. Uh, you need to have some research experience and publications. So they do give significant importance to publications in machine learning or related field. Uh, they do have very importance. Uh, they give huge importance to TensorFlow which is, uh, you know, of, of huge relevance in this case, and some tech lead experience. So they are looking at, at some background experience, if you have that or not. So this is the, the job, uh, that the background that you come in. Now let's look at the background that they want you to do in, in this job every single day. And if you read these four bullet points, you will see the whole essence that comes out is you they want you to collaborate with people. So in the previous job, rec, like you didn't see really uh, the, these words coming up, but here you will see the most important keywords that, that come that come up is, is collaborate and you need to be able to uh, support them individually and you, you need to support projects in a collaboratively wherever that is required and you need to again come up with your own niche so you need to become your own expert in, in machine learning in, in some of the niche areas so uh, in in this particular job rec whenever you're talking to the you know recruiter or the hiring manager for your first call you need to be able to show how you are a team player as well as how you can be a leader uh, you know whenever the the time uh, is, is required so that is how you read this job right so this is the last example that I'll be showing today and this is machine learning engineer at Pinterest uh, let's look at it in the same order that we saw so let's start with what they are looking for background of the candidate who's coming in now they require a five working years of experience right so this is not academic plus something else but this is five whole solid working experience so that's a required or a must for this case um, they want a uh, 
examples and they want experience with large scale ranking systems so that is super important if you worked on a very relevant uh, area or in, in any case if you can demonstrate applied machine learning experience and uh, finally they also want some experience with big data hadoop you know cascading etc and finally they want to to want you to know that you know about their products so in this case it would be a good uh, exercise for you to actually uh, research what are the different products and how you can apply machine learning onto the pinterest products and now then let's look at you know, you know what the job you will be doing every single day in this case you see that their requirement is engagement so your goal will be to enhance uh, engagement and there you have to do some research as to what happens uh, how how do you uh, you know enhance engagement for these online websites so a b testing or uh, what what is the other uh, what are the standards in the industry you need to know that uh, here of course there's an importance on search ranking uh, and again understanding query based uh, you know query based learning so if you can show examples with them then that'd be great and finally the most important aspect of it is scaling so you need to be able to support more than 340 million monthly users so again th there's a system design requirement and the system architecture in this case is how you start with a few users and how can you scale up so those will be super important understandings if you are applying for a job like this see you next time